be cops. Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to my review of Let's Be Cops. Now, I gotta say, uh, I actually kind of enjoyed this movie. Um, now, granted, it wasn't anything special. Uh, it wasn't fairly original. Although I did think the premise uh, on paper sounded very funny. Like two guys uh, just putting on costumes and pretending to be cops. That sounds hilarious to me. But the trailer didn't really make me feel like it was going to live up to my expectations. Uh, but you know, it's been out for a little while now and so I've already heard a lot of negative things about it and so that probably helped those managed expectations help me enjoy this movie, but I gotta say I did enjoy it. Um, it was pretty fun. Um, it wasn't, it's nothing special, it's nothing particularly original or anything like that, but um, you can have fun with this movie. The, the main thing that, that really works with this movie is the chemistry between the two leads. Um, so if you like if you watch uh, New Girl and you like that show, you'll probably like this movie quite a bit um, But their chemistry is what really what works the best in this movie um, everything else is kind of uh, B quality not really that great the dialogue um, Whenever they're talking to other people isn't that great the story overall uh, Was funny like I said, I did laugh several times but, you know, the dialogue was, was kind of lacking, especially whenever they're working out the sort of the subplots and the side characters, especially the love story. Uh, Nina Dobrev, I think is her name. Uh, she is just, oh uh, man, she's, she's barely serviceable, uh, but they, they didn't she wasn't in there too much, so, so she was okay because you didn't, you didn't have to see her that often. But when she was on, she was kind of just like a throwaway character. Um, now, a person I didn't know who was in there, uh, who's actually really funny, her name is Natasha Leggero. And uh, I first think I first saw her on the uh, roast of James Franco. And uh, she's hilarious and she's really funny. Totally underutilized in this movie. She's only in there for like a quick scene and they really move past her fast. But I really wish they could have given her something funnier to do. Um, but the guy, uh, Key from uh, Key and Peel, is in this movie and they utilize him very good. Not, he wasn't as funny as he could have been, but he was still really funny in the way that they used him. And he's actually in a fairly good chunk of this movie. So um, if, if you, I didn't know he was in there, but you know, if you saw him on the cast list and, and you're hoping that, you know, he's gonna have some funny scenes in this movie, you will definitely get that. Um, but yeah, so the the story isn't, isn't very strong at all. It's mainly uh, situational comedy that they're getting themselves into. And that's what's really funny. Um, and then sort of their interpersonal, relationship is is pretty funny as well but mainly the situations that they get in whenever they put on the costumes and they don't wait very long to get into the costumes they start pretending to be cops very quickly now obviously they the stuff that they do as cops in the cop uniforms no actual person could have done so it requires a little bit of suspension of disbelief but what surprised me was how well uh in the universe that they set up and sort of the the context that they go out and do these cop things in, um, it's almost believable that they would actually be able to do this. Um, now, granted, it's it's not like hyper realistic or anything, but in the world that they set up, it does come across as somewhat believable that they're actually able to do this. They they, they at least they don't ever try to get too serious on you. They they try to infuse jokes as much as they possibly can wherever they can. And, and, and a good portion of those I thought were funny. Uh, there wasn't, there was a few, there was a few really big laughs, um, the small sprinkled ones throughout, but um, I think you would like this movie if you like the, the chemistry between the two leads on New Girl, or if you sort of like, it sort of like reminded me of sort of a lower grade version of like Dumb and Dumber maybe, or comedies like that. Um, so I think you, you definitely like this movie. Uh, d don't go see it in theaters. This is not a movie that you need to rush out and go see in theaters. I, it's, it would be great as a rental, Netflix, Redbox, whatever. Get it there. You don't need to see this in theaters. I think watching it at home for a dollar, you'll have a great time with it. But other than that, you know, don't, it's nothing, it's nothing like special or particularly original or anything. So I'm going to give this movie a five out of five. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think in the comments if you've already seen this movie and uh, check back here for more great content and I will see you next time.